Let's create a new template. Here, you will lay out the design for your product. Let's give it a name. We'll start with a new blank page to set the dimensions of our print file. In this case, we'll stick with the default size of 100 by 100 millimeters. Here we are in Customly's Design Studio. It's where we'll add all the layers that make the design. Let's start by adding a text box for the first initial. Let's assign a font to it. If this is the first time you'll use a font, you'll have to upload it first. Click the plus sign to upload it. Since each initial on the monogram is different, we're going to need a separate font for each one of them. A font for the left initial, the middle initial, and the right initial. Once you upload the font, simply pick it from the list. Adjust its size if needed, and rearrange the element on the page. Then, copy the text box with Ctrl or Command C and paste it with Ctrl or Command V to create the second initial. Change its font to use the one for the middle text and adjust the element on the page. Repeat the process to create the third initial. With monograms, the placement of each letter is very important. So make sure you adjust the three text boxes to look good as a whole. When the monogram is ready, you can move on to configure the preview.